it's kind of a breathing space where you can just be creative and have fun and meet a lot of nice people. So. No, but I mean, we, we didn't even know that you Bark paid money to get in there. <laughs> we were going to break it at night? Embarrassing. No, it was like in the evening, but it, it wasn't. That was that somos un grupo de 100 estudiantes de 25 países diferentes y, claro, con esos datos la, la, la riqueza cultural que aquí se genera, todo lo que se intercambia es, es interesantísimo. I learned here that uh, if you are not very good at something. It's still, it, it doesn't matter, it's not a big thing. <laughs> uh, a stay in a school like this will put a mark on them forever. Imaginatzen duzu azterketa eta notari gabeko eskola bat eta ikasi zongi pasatzen dena. Badani markan badira holako eskola batzuk. Bertan liburuak alde batera utzi eta bizitza ikasten da. 1800 eta 42an Danimarkan lehen konstituzio demokratikoa ezarri zen. Demokrazia askea izatekotan Eskola askeak sortu behar zirela proposatu zuen Grunbik pentsalariak. Hortik sortu ziren holzkuleak, hau da, herri eskolak. Ideia hau, Danimarkan sortu zen arren, azkar zabaldu zen gainontzeko herri alde eskandinaviarretara. Eskola hauek, hemen sortzi urtez gaindikoentzat dira. Danimarkako gaztediak batxiergoa bukatu ondoren, denboraldi bat libre hartzen dute, beraien etorkizunaz erabakitzeko. Tarte honetan, bidaiatu eta lan egiten dute. Beste asko ordea, herri eskoletara joaten dira. Danimarkan, eunen bat herri eskola daude. Gu, bitan egon gara. Orain, odarrekoa bizitatuko dugu. Uh, I'm Maria and I'm from Copenhagen and I'm 21 years old and I'm taking a few years off to, before I start studying. I would like to know some more about myself uh, and what I want to do in my future and what things I'm interested in and uh, yeah, just know, know myself better. I had a little down period before I came, and this really made me feel better. Herri eskolak barnetegiak dira. Ikasle naiz irakasleek elkarrekin ematen dituzte eguneko hogeitala gorduak. Uh, it's a very so social place. Uh, and there's space for everyone. You can always find someone to talk to and you get very close to the people. Uh, make a lot of new friends. The teachers are very open to get to know you. I have a lot better relationship with the teachers here than the teachers I had in the normal school because we because we live here and we see them so much. Tradizioari jarraiki, herri eskoletan abesten hasten dute eguna. Goizeroko kantuen ondoren, eskola desberdinak hasten dira. Matematika, fisika edo te historia denboraldi bat ezahastu eta sormena lantzen duten ikasgaietan aritzen dira. A gymnasium is more serious and you go there three years uh, and you get grades and have to pass the exams uh, and has to study hard here. It's, the subjects are serious but you're more free and you live together. 
Eskola hauek mundura zabaltzeko Europar Batasuna kanpaina desberdinak bultzatu ditu. Hauei esker, munduko txoko guztietako jendea aurki dezakegu Danimarkako herri eskoletan. My name is Ivana. I come from Slovakia. I'm 23 year old and um, I have finished my um, education at the university last year. I think it's a shame that this Hoyskola is only um, well known in Scandinavia because I think it's a great, great thing for, for everybody. Uh, I knew about the Hoyskola that it's a different kind of school that you can... Um, uh, this, it's learning for life that it's not, it's all up to your motivation, what you want to learn, nobody's pushing you. I was very happy to see, to experience this 24-7 opportunity to do something that you have one building where you can either do pottery or paint if you want or do pictures or there's plenty of instruments in the music room and you can try them out. I also came here to Hoyskola because um, I have spent some time in Denmark before and I never really made a strong relationships with Danes. Uh, so I wanted to check it out here, if you actually live with Danes, if it's different. But um, uh, yes, there are some really nice Danes here that I can hang out with, but I can still feel the little separation. I love music very much. Um, I learned here that uh, if you're not very good at something, it's still, it, it doesn't matter, it's not a big thing. <laughs> because before I, I thought, okay, if you want to do something, you should... I didn't like to be an average. <laughs> but now I have to admit that, okay, there are some things that you can't really master 100%. So. Hogeita la orduko elkar bizitza honetan guztia banatzen da, baita garbik eta lanak ere. There are four people in each corridor uh, that are responsible for cleaning the corridor plus one room, one classroom. And uh, there is always two people um, helping in the kitchen for one week to before the meal and after the meal to clean up. Folk High School for me is a place where you can learn how to do things that you maybe always wanted to, but you never dared to. Bring me down, down to earth. Help me see. Herri eskoletan jende desberdina aurki dezakegun bezala, herri eskola desberdinak ere badira Danimarkan. Orain, odarreko eskola tradizional hautzi eta eskola berri batera goaz, Ebeltofera. Bertan, zinea eta telebistarekin zerikusia duten saltsa guztiak dazta daitezke. My name is Sophie. I am from Denmark. I was just looking for a year off, I think, from, from education and stuff and see what I wanted to do. So this is relaxed. I mean, you don't have to focus on career and education because, I mean, it's not, you don't get grades and stuff. So it's kind of a breathing space where you can just be creative and have fun and meet a lot of nice people.
the social life is fantastic. Yeah, you, <laughs> you never, if you want someone to talk to, you can always find someone. But then, of course, on the other hand, you live with another person in a room, so of course you can almost never be alone. You get to know people really well from the good sides and the bad sides. I'm editing a film, the final project. <laughs> I mean, I've been editing one documentary and now I'm editing a fiction film. It's a penalty. Four, three, two, one. What the hell is going on here? As a, in, in making film, I tried out a lot of different stuff, so now I know what I want to do. Ebel Tofeko Eskola hau etorkizuneko zine izarren pasabidea da. I found out what I wanted to do after, I mean with the rest of my life hopefully, and that's, that's really good, so it's been really successful. I mean now I know that film is something that I want to do, and before I didn't know that. Mundua handia izan arren, Espainiarrak ere iritsi dira Danimarkako herri eskoletara. Ebeltofen Rubén Ramos Galiziarra aurkitu dugu. Pues nada, soy estudiante de Bellas Artes, bueno, hice estudios de cursos de doctorado, soy de Santiago de Compostela y he estudiado en la Facultad de Bellas Artes de Pontevedra. Somos un grupo de 100 estudiantes de 25 países diferentes y claro, con esos datos la, la, la riqueza cultural que aquí se genera, todo lo que se intercambia es, es interesantísimo. Hay gente pues desde los países nórdicos hasta Irán, Estados Unidos, eh, con unos intereses más o menos comunes y con una visión, con una ambición del mundo que, 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 que hemos compartido pues día a día. ¿no? Y personalmente ha aportado la ha aportado la, la oportunidad de conocer a, a gente de culturas muy diferentes y para mí lo que es el balance ha sido, ha sido positivo. A España llevaría la organización y la estructuración que tiene. Lo que traería de España aquí es un poco pues, los, los españoles que estamos aquí o italianos pues, hemos traído, que es esta capacidad nuestra de adaptación o de improvisación. ¿no? Yo creo que, que tiene que haber un momento en el proceso creativo donde estés perdido o, o por lo menos tener la, 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 la oportunidad de buscar algo que, que, aún, que aún es desconocido para ti. Yo creo que para encontrar, para encontrar cosas tienes que estar perdido. Yo creo que tampoco debemos copiar uh, un sistema que funciona en una sociedad concreta. Quizás deberíamos ver qué pode cómo podemos adaptar lo bueno que tienen es estas escuelas en, en España. Mañana, Erri Escoletara es dirá soy Castea Canimacen. El due que le va Oderren, Iruro Gayurteco, Arni, Arquitu Dugu. I got an education as a biologist and a computer scientist and has worked for 20 years. And then I was made unemployed uh, 18 months ago and uh, decided to become an artist. <laughs> I like the German expressionists because. Uh, They paint so ugly, and uh, you you don't have to uh, aspire to paint beautifully. So uh, so I paint uh, quickly and and uh, ugly. <laughs> It's deliberating. It's uh, I just uh, forget uh, time and place when I paint. Uh, I'm accepted, I feel, but of course I'm much older than them, so uh, I'm, I suppose I could be father and maybe grandfather to some of them, but uh, it's okay, it seems to work well. Uh, 
yes, I can see my own uh, youth in them, of course, my own life when I was a young kid, I can see that in them. Uh, and they are all starting on their lives. They are beginning their uh, life going into a working career in a few years' time, getting married and so on. I am about to round off my life. I am to about to find out what shall I do for the rest of my life just to have some fun. I like very much the spirit of the folk high school. You learn something that you cannot read in books. I think the, the freedom that people have here, and still there are limitations, of course, but there is a great amount of freedom and there's no pressure on people, there's no exams. I think the people that go to a, a high school, they will always uh, have the spirit, they will bring the spirit from the high school into their own life later in life. I, I really admire the, the found, founders, founding fathers of this idea. Uh, without Grundtvig and this idea, Denmark would not be like it is today. Mm -hmm.